guys, so today is close to Christmas. I mean, isn't that exciting? Am I the only one excited here? The first thing that pops into my head when I think about Christmas are presents. And I know, a bit superficial, but I mean presents are just so nice and not just in the way where you get presents and you get like a bunch of stuff. Just giving presents to people is something that I really enjoy doing. Um, just like seeing their reaction and picking stuff out that you know means a lot to them. I just really enjoy doing that and just making people happy in general because when you give someone a present obviously it makes them happy because you know presents make everyone happy. So Christmas is a time where you know obviously you give a lot of presents, a bit like birthdays but everyone's at the same time. Um, which is not always good for your wallet but it's nice like for other people and for you because you know you do take part in it. Something that has always been a bit iffy that I've always been a bit mm, about is Secret Santa. You, most of you probably know what that is but that's when you you're with a group of people and you like put your names in a, in a hat or something and then you just pick out the names randomly and you have to buy a present for that person and sometimes it's just so hard because usually I do it with my class and stuff. I'm doing it this year with my class and you just don't know what to get the certain person, especially when it's a guy, it's like, no clue. Um, thank goodness I have a brother that can give me a bit of a, can give me a bit of advice to what to get for guys. But yeah, so yeah, Secret, Secret Santa is always a bit like an unsure thing, um, you don't know if they'll like it, and you don't know what you're going to get or who's going to get you something. The only thing I don't like about giving gifts, especially at Christmas and stuff, is you don't know what the other person is getting you, so you don't know if you're getting them something that's like, not worse, but not at the same like sentimental value, or like they went for a funny thing and you went for a more serious thing, and sometimes you guys, like people are just not on the same level present wise, and I don't know if that can bug the other person. But yeah, that's why I'm always a bit iffy about. If you guys want to see what I asked for Christmas, I made a wish list on my main channel, which I will link below if you want to see that. But another thing like going on is, I always like the kind of the hint of a surprise when it comes to um, what people get me for Christmas or birthdays or just as presents in general. And when you ruin that surprise, it's kind of like you know, sure, like you appreciate what they get you. But I think the element of surprise adds a bit to the magic of Christmas. And that's why, you know, I, I made a wish list, obviously, the stuff that I want. But, and I gave that to my parents, so they knew what to pick. But I always, like, my favourite gifts are always the ones that are added. Um, they're usually smaller, just like um, a piece of jewellery or, like, a, a nail polish or whatever. But it's just something that, you know... That, that person thought about like Ooh, what is a cute little thing that they'd appreciate um, which are usually the best gifts I personally find. Comment down below what is the your favourite gift anyone has ever gotten you? For me the, my favourite gift would probably be when I was seven years old and my mum for my birthday got me um, a Cinderella dress and yeah so that meant a lot to me and I still think about it many years later. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next week. Bye!